I like that up there. Nice display, got some gears, got some bucks right there. Yeah, but this store has everything you need for hunting, for fishing. Look at that, y'all. We're walking up to the fish tank right here. Got some bass in there. Got some largemouth bass in there. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let me show you how that looks like. Look at that one up there. This is amazing. That right there. That's a big bass right there. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Wow, look at the sturgeon right there. And look at that striper right there. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big striper right there. Check it out, y'all. Is it actually real? It's a real fish, I think. Yay! Check that out. Wow, look at, look this. at this big fella right there. Check Hello. that out. Little fella. This is amazing. This place wow. is amazing. Oh, God, oh, not a fish. Okay. Check it out. Look at that up there! Look. That's a large small bass right there. Wow. Check it out though. Look at this big striper right here. Probably about 43 inches on that striper right there. It's huge. Never seen a fish that big, huh? Okay, okay, okay. They got nice fish in here. Wow, look at this sturgeon right here. What <laughs> the other fish? Me, okay? Yeah, but normally sturgeon are bottom feeders. That's why they like to be in the bottom. That's why that one's down here. Check this out right here. A bunch of bass in here. Different types of species, man. I've never seen this type of fishes like this. Yeah, we're gonna try to spot them in here. Yeah, that's a carp. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that striper. Oh, Ooh. It's a nice really fish tank. Yeah, but that's a black coffee. That's a blue catfish. Got a channel catfish. Camel carp, hybrid striper. And we got three striped bass coming from the ocean. Lost mouth bass right there. Spotted bass right there. Small mouth bass. Sun kissed fish. White crappie and a white sturgeon. Nice. All the fish they got in this water tank right here. Pretty nice, huh? It even has a waterfall up there. Look at that. Check out this lures right here. Down on this side right here, there's some Cinco's, some worms, fake worms. Bunch of stuff out here. Wow. Look at this store right here. Some young lures, some young worms, some more Cinco's. Yeah, but this is the side of the fishing stuff right here. Cool area, man. They have a lot of stuff out here. Check it out. Bunch of things. I don't even know what to choose. I don't even know what to get. Yeah, but this stuff is all good right here. Everything's nice out here. I've seen a lot of this stuff. People are fishing with right here. Most of the stuff right there is what I use for a striper right here. Check that out right here. Got some hooks. Some of those for some striped bass right there. Ooh, bunch of things, y'all. I don't even know what to choose. Yeah, but we came to the shop right here. It's bass Pro Shop. We're gonna be getting some lures. We're gonna be getting some stuff. Because yesterday was my birthday. And look what I got, y'all. I got a nice gift card to come to this Bass Pro Shop right here. Let's check it out, man. Bunch of things. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of equipment. Look at all them fishing rods right there. Nice. Surrounded by fishing rods. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, but we're gonna keep looking for some, but we're gonna be buying, buying some lures. All right. Yeah, but I see everybody's using this fish scale right here. I need a fish scale. I don't know if to get a digital one, something like this, or maybe something like that, but this fish scale right here, this fish grabber has a fish scale right about there. It's made by Rapala. It's a nice fish. I see a lot of people use that. But yeah, you guys let me know which scale is better. If it's a digital, one of those manual ones right there to get. Pretty much I need a fish scale just about something like that right there. I don't know. I see everybody use that. But I'm thinking about getting something more like digital. So it gives me the exact number. Yeah. A lot of things out here. 
That's a nice combo. That's two types of lures, a little bit smaller one. Medium size lure right there. Check that out, man. Bunch of lures out here. Wow. So much stuff, I don't even know what to choose, y'all. Yeah, but these are the frogs we're gonna be getting today. Two sexy frogs. Yeah, but that's how I choose my lures. It depends what's on the rack. If it's missing, that means it's good. If there's a bunch of them, that means it's not good. So this is the last one right here, and I'm taking this frog right here. All right, now we gotta go look for some flatfish, y'all. Okay, so this is the cypress salmon right here. You start seeing the beads right there. Look like little fish eggs right there. Those are called beads. And here we go. We're looking for some flatfish. There we go. These are the flatfish right here. Normally these are hot right here. This is perfect to catch some salmon right here. You use one of these, you put it in line. You gotta go down to the bottom with a weight, with a leader and a weight. Grab some sardine and you'll catch a salmon, y'all. Yeah, but we're gonna be getting the flatfish right here. Found them right here. One of my favorite ones, combination, is one of the ones that has a little bit of green, a little bit of blue on them. We're looking for the K14 or the K15 flatfish. Those are pretty hot lures right there for salmon right there. If you see, like I mentioned earlier, if you see a lot of lures, that means it doesn't work. If you see a little bit less lures on the rack, that means it works. Something like this. This is a hot lure right here. Catch a lot of salmon on this. Caught some salmon on that type of lure before. Yeah, but I found all the flatfish right here. Yeah, we're gonna be choosing one flatfish, two, maybe two, so we can go fishing for some salmon. All right. Yeah, but these are all the flatfish they got right here. Pretty nice, a lot of to choose from. Like, like I said before, the way to choose lures, the way to choose something is if you see less on the, on the rack, that means that's the favorite item. That means that what, that's what's working. So yeah. We're gonna be choosing another lure. I'm thinking about getting something that is unique. Something like this right here. See, there's a couple, couple left right there. Yeah, so we're gonna be getting this type of lure right here. And I want it to be a little bit more shiny. So I don't know, even though there's a little bit on the rack, I'm not feeling this lure right here. So I don't know, I'm looking more something more shiny, more more visible for the fish so I wanted to see it and I wanted to attack it so I don't know y'all let me know what you guys think about that yeah but don't forget that this August 31st is a free fishing day for all all rules still apply you can go fishing at your favorite fishing spot fishing river just go ahead and set up for some for some fishing y'all yeah but that's how we do it y'all and don't forget I'm still doing that giveaway as soon as I reach my thousand subscribers we're gonna be giving a fishing rod. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment on this video. Put the description saying, I wanna win my rod. Yeah, but we're here in the Bass Pro Shop. Searching for some lures, y'all. Yep, that's how we do it. Yeah, but these are my, some of my favorite lures right here. I like the K15 right there. That's one of the favorite ones right there. Uh, look at that. All right. Yeah, but this is the side right here for the salmon lures, all the salmon equipment you need right here. Check that out, y'all. Everything you need right here for some salmon fishing is all right here on this side. Got every type of lure you're gonna be needing out there. Yeah, but that's how we do it, y'all. I'm Rich Rod. We're gonna keep on fishing, y'all. Yeah, but don't forget, this August 31st is a free fishing day for all. So go ahead and set up for that. All right, catch you next time. Yeah, check that out right there. It looks pretty nice. It makes me feel like I'm in the river. It makes me feel like I'm outdoors. Nice. Look at all that painting right there. It's pretty cool. Maybe even got some grass right there. Uh, look at got some stuffed animals right there. Check that out. It's a nice store. Pretty cool look at this right here. The American River. And look at that right there. American River. Of course, there's some salmon right there. 
check that out. Nice monument up here. Clean. Yeah, but this would have come out too for four lures. $40, y'all. Check out that. That's my receipt right there. $40 for 40 lures. Alright. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right there. Yeah, y'all. So we got everything we need to go fishing. So we got our lures. Yeah, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. Alright, catch you next time. Good morning, y'all. We're here in the Thugger River. Searching the salmon, y'all. Look at this right here. We're using the K15 right here. Got a new lure. Set up for this, this type of fish. Yeah, but that's how we do. We're using the flatfish right here. I'm gonna test some sardine to it. See how that goes. Yeah, you all right there. That's what we use it today, some flatfish, some sardine tied up for flavor, just like that. Yeah, but not yet, y'all. It's kind of quiet out here, nice peaceful day. There's no wind, the water's pretty smooth. Still out here such proof of salmon. Go down south. Heard some people catching them down south now. But I don't know, y'all. Just want to catch salmon here in my side of town. That's the reason why I'm out here stubborn, searching for some salmon right here in my side of town. I want to catch a salmon here. I know they're catching some down by the Sacramento River down south. But I'm stubborn. I want to land my first fish here at the Feather River, on my side of town. That's kind of the reason why I'm out here fishing all the time. Because I want to land a fish here. Yeah, but I think I'm going to have to go down south if I want to catch a salmon. I think I'm going to have to do a little trip down south because I know some people are catching them down there. doing out here go ahead and subscribe to my channel go ahead and give it a like yeah, and also don't forget that this august 31st is a free fishing day all rules still apply you need to catch a striper 18 inches and above two salmon per person per day they change the regulations this year so they change it back up to two two salmon per person Protection gotta be 45 inches to 65 inches to keep it. Catfish is no size limit. Bass, largemouth bass, spotted bass need to be 15 inches and above. Yeah, but that's why I'm out here. I wanna catch a fish here on my side of town. I don't wanna go down to another spot. But I think I'm gonna have to if I wanna really catch a fish. Yeah, if you like what I'm doing out here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a fishing rod, chase your fishing rod, equipped with everything you need. It has some lures, it has some hooks, some weights, pretty much everything you need except the bait. I'm gonna be giving that away. As soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, there will be one lucky winner. Yeah, but don't worry, every thousand subscribers I get, I'm gonna be doing giveaways. I'm gonna be giving out prizes to people to go fishing. 
so they can try out this more see if they like it. But yeah, we're gonna keep on fishing out here in the Feather River, on my side of town. I'll let you know as soon as I catch a fish. Yeah, but I'm stubborn. I wanna catch a fish here on the Feather River, on my side of town, nowhere else. Alright, catch you next time.